Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back for another video. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create animated PowerPoint slides in Microsoft PowerPoint. I will also teach you how to create these shapes and apply the sliding animation using the Morph Transition. The first thing you need to do is to open Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint 365 in this tutorial. So the theme of my presentation will be the importance of meditation. But before that, allow me to introduce you to this powerful website, designs.ai. This website is rich in AI tools that you can use for content creation. They offer various tools such as the AI Image Maker, where all you have to do is to describe the image and designs.ai will generate it for you. They also provide an AI writer by asking a question. It functions like a chat GPT answering the question or command. Moreover, there's a video maker available where you can add your title, caption, and choose the industry or mood for the video. Designs.ai will generate the video for you. What I like about this platform is that it provides the entire video including the subtitles, background music, and relevant video content related to your caption or to your topic. These days, meditation is commonly used for relaxation and stress reduction. Meditation is considered a type of mind-body complementary medicine. Meditation can produce a deep state of relaxation and a tranquil mind. Another feature is their logo maker where they can generate various types of logos for your business or ideas. They also offer an image to text feature where all you have to do is to upload your photo like this image of Taj Mahal and it will generate the caption for you. Additionally, there's this design maker where you can browse different templates and create various publication materials. They also provide a speech maker allowing you to convert your text to speech using different voices. Besides this, they also offer additional tools for you such as the color matcher which will be used later. They also have a graphic maker enabling you to explore different graphic materials, a font pairer where you can view various font combinations and a calendar tool. Now to start this presentation, let's hunt first for our color palette using the color matcher here. We can explore here different color palettes, but let's try this one, the color blue, the different shades of blue. And let's just download it as an image. And then shift back to PowerPoint. Let's add the color palette we just downloaded earlier. Now let's keep this on this side outside the slide now we're going to add a rectangular shape just like this drag it onto your slide now we're going to remove the outline of the shape next is to add another rounded rectangular shape just like this now position it below the rectangular shape and and then we're going to duplicate this four times since we're going to add a four content for our presentation. Make sure that they are properly aligned and equally spaced. Next is to duplicate the slide four times since I said earlier that we're going to add four contents for this. Now we're going to delete these three. Next, we will move to the second slide and only retain the second rounded rectangle shape while deleting the rest. Then moving on to the third slide, we will retain only the third rounded rectangle. Continuing this process on the fourth slide, we will keep the fourth rounded rectangular shape. Now going back to the first slide, we will going to combine these shapes into one under the shape format, merge shape, and then union, and then shape fill eyedropper and then choose the color from the color palette we just downloaded from designs.ai now on in the second slide union and then shape fill use the eyedropper tool and then choose the second color now on the third slide doing the same process merge shape union shape fill eyedropper and then choose the third color on the fourth slide select all shapes merge shape and then union and then the shape fill use the eyedropper tool to select the last color 
Now that we already set the colors, it's time to add the additional effect such as the shadow. We are going to apply this to all shapes onto each slides. Next is that we will format the background for the slides choosing this color and then apply it to all slides or maybe change this to a much lighter color. So let's choose more colors and then explore different colors here. So let's try this color I think and then apply it to all slides. We are now ready to add the content for this slide. This time we will go back to designs.ai and choose the AI writer. So this one works like a chat GPT where you can ask questions or ask a command for example. I will type here give me four importance of meditation so I will ask this to designs that AI AI writer and then they will generate an answer based on my command as you can see they quickly gave us the information that we needed so we're going to use this I'm just going to copy this text and then move again to PowerPoint insert a text box and then paste the text on the text box of course and then we're going to change the font its font size and its color. Now going back to designs.ai, we are going to look for illustrations that is related to our topic. So we're going to the tools and then choose the graphics maker. So we're going to look for illustrations here that is related to our topic. Let's select this. And then let's look for icons or illustrations related to meditation. So this one is good but I don't like the colors. We can change the colors to all white just like this. And after that you can download it. We can save it as PNG. Now going back to the presentation, we can now add the illustration from designs.ai graphics maker. So we can add this here and then properly arrange it according to the elements that we have on our slides. Fast forwarding in the tutorial, I have already prepared the other slides. The information here is actually from designs.ai's AI writer and the illustrations are also from designs.ai using their graphics maker tool. I also suggest placing your content in this manner so that the content remains visible later and doesn't overlap once we stack the shapes on top of one another. Now going back to the first slide, we're going to add a text box for the numbers. So I will add number 1 here and then change the font like Bebas and then change the color to white and adjust its size. Now we're going to place it on the rounded rectangular shape here. And now we're going to add a shadow for this and then let us just copy that and then paste that on the second slide. And just change the number and now for this third slide and lastly for the fourth slide now we're going to group all of the elements for each slide just select all slides right click and then choose the group You can also use the Ctrl G shortcut on your keyboard to group these elements. Now that we're done setting up, we're going back to the second slide and then we're going to copy this second group. Copy and then paste it onto the first slide and then move it like this on top of the first group. Now going back to the third slide, let's copy this and then paste it again onto the first slide. Now, let's move on to slide number 4 to copy the elements or the group 4. Copy and then paste it onto the first slide and move it like this. Make sure that they are equally spaced and properly aligned. Now, we're going to select all of these and then delete since we already copied this to the first slide. Now, select all the cards and move it to the left. And it's time to add the slide title for this presentation. So the title of this presentation would be 
The Importance of Meditation Once done, we're going to duplicate this first slide and then move the title to the right as well as the first group. We're going to pull this to the right just like this. Now we're going to duplicate the slide 2 and this time we're going to pull this second group to the right just like this doing the same process or continuing the process we're going to duplicate the slide once again and then move the third group to the right perfect now for the group number four and that is so good now we're going to add the morph transition and apply it to all slides so here's the final output for the tutorial as you notice this presentation is quite smart with elements smoothly moving from left to right through the help of the morph transition this type of presentation is very effective if you aim to have a reveal effect for your presentation I also want to highlight that the content of this presentation is sourced from designs.ai including their AI writer, color matcher, and graphics maker. So that's basically it. I hope you have learned something new from the tutorial. If you're interested in trying designs.ai, just click the link in the description. Once again, this is Gamo Edits and thank you for watching.